reason why I believe God allows affliction or adversity at times, and again, this is not his primary tool, but he will use it, is it helps conquer pride. Have you ever been with some people who've lived a very uh, cushy life and they're super strong on what other people should be doing? They lived a charm life. The guy's father owns like five businesses. He's worth $50 million. And he's, and he's critiquing unemployed people. It conquers pride. 2 Corinthians 12 verse 7 tells us this. 2 Corinthians 12 verse this. Verse 12 verse 7 tells us this. Now keep in mind, I, my biblical worldview is and I can support this scripturally, is when Paul talks about a thorn in the flesh, he's not talking about sickness. This is my biblical worldview. If you look at the number of references in the Old Testament when thorn is used, the majority of them are used to describe people or individuals who are coming against you if you run a word search on it. Do you realize the second you get revelation, its job is to exalt you? You didn't get that? The second you get revelation, the job, the job description of revelation knowledge from the word of God is to exalt you. It's to lift you from where you are to a higher level. We don't even have to read any further, we can shout. Unless I should be exalted. No, and notice how it exalts you, above measure. It, 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 it lifts you from the pack. It elevates you. It distinguishes you. It separates you. A person, not a sickness, not cancer, not, the, not disease, a messenger, a person, someone who's going to prod you and poke you and try to throw water on your dream and try to get you to quit. And every time you speak faith, they speak doubt. To strike blow by blow by blow. There are people, unfortunately, in this world that Satan uses to strike blow by blow by blow against what you're believing God for. So I believe he allows it because sometimes, you know, the Bible says knowledge puffs up, but love edifies. And if you're a type of Christian and all you have is knowledge and the, the, the pastor starts the verse and you finish it and, and you try and he calls you to minister to somebody and you, you call throwing 19 different verses at them and you know what the Bible says and, blah, 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 and you know what the Bible says and, and you ain't doing what the Bible, blah, 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 you know what the Bible says, the word of God says, the word, the word, the word, the word, the word. that's true. Knowledge puffs up. Love edifies. People don't care how much you know till they know how much you care.